Welcome back to the Kutuba channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin has officially confirmed the breakout from this massive bullish pattern, setting up a huge bullish price target, while Bitcoin is right now potentially beginning an extremely volatile move to the upside, while Ethereum is also continuing to break out to the upside, heading towards this bullish price target. So I'll be talking about all of that and so much more later in the video, so make sure to watch to the end. First of all, taking a quick look at some Bitcoin ETF news today, because just today, Grayscale has indeed sold another approximately 3,700 Bitcoin worth around 170 million US dollars. And they did sell a similar amount to that just yesterday as well, roughly $170 million worth of Bitcoin yesterday as well. But as I've explained recently on the channel, of course, if this amount that Grayscale is selling is less than five to 10,000 each weekday, honestly, it's not that bad because this can easily be bought up by other Bitcoin ETFs. For example, just over the last one day, BlackRock alone, which is only one of the 11 Bitcoin ETFs, BlackRock alone bought nearly 1,300 Bitcoin just over the last one day. And so right now, BlackRock is currently holding around 78,000 Bitcoin worth over 3.3 billion US dollars, as we can see here on BlackRock's own website. And so overall, if we're looking at the outflows from Grayscale out of the Grayscale Bitcoin ETF, plus the inflows from BlackRock and multiple other Bitcoin Bitcoin ETFs also buying up Bitcoin, we're actually left with net inflows, all things considered. And as we can see here, just a few weeks ago, back in around the middle of January and the end of January, we were actually seeing net outflows due to Grayscale dumping a lot of Bitcoin on the market and a lot of outflows coming out of Grayscale. But especially more recently, just over the last one to one and a half weeks or so, we have seen a lot more net inflows. Because basically, a lot of the Bitcoin that is leaving the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, causing selling pressure from Grayscale, a lot of that Bitcoin is actually going over to other Bitcoin ETFs, like the BlackRock ETF, for example. And so even though Grayscale is having to dump that Bitcoin on the market, if that Bitcoin is wanting to leave the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, of course, if that Bitcoin is going to another Bitcoin ETF provider, like BlackRock, for example, they're having to purchase that Bitcoin back off Grayscale. And so that's basically what's happening here. A lot of Bitcoin is simply moving from Grayscale to other Bitcoin ETFs. But on top of that movement between the ETFs, we are also seeing extra inflows going into the ETFs because right now we do have net inflows, which means right now there's more money going into the Bitcoin ETFs than what's going out of the Bitcoin ETFs. And so of course, this is a bullish thing for the price of Bitcoin because the more money that goes into the Bitcoin ETFs, the more those ETF providers like BlackRock, for example, are having to buy up Bitcoin on the spot market, which is good for the price of Bitcoin. But anyway, getting into the Bitcoin charts today, looking at the three-day Bitcoin charts. And I covered this chart right here in much more detail in my last video here on the channel. So if you missed that video, definitely check that one out. But basically, all you need to know about this chart right here is that this is the Bollinger Bands indicator, and this is the Bollinger Bands width indicator that shows us how wide the Bollinger Bands are. And basically, if we see a major squeeze in the Bollinger Bands here on the three-day Bitcoin chart, it means an extremely volatile move is just around the corner. We're just about to see a very volatile move. And based on these previous examples, that volatile move usually plays out over around one to two weeks and is usually around a 20 to 30% move. And as for the direction of that move in the price of Bitcoin, whether it's bullish or bearish, we can usually find that out if the price is above or below the center line in the Bollinger Band. So basically, if it's in the top half or the lower half of the Bollinger Band indicator, and right now the price is indeed in the top half of the indicator looking bullish. And considering the fact that we're starting to see a slight uptick here in the Bollinger Bands with indicator, showing that we're starting to see an initial expansion in the Bollinger Bands, basically this is an early signal telling us that right now we are potentially beginning that extremely volatile move, which right now is obviously heading in the bullish direction. And so if we're measuring from where this volatile move really started, which was at around 42 and a half thousand, give or take, if we're measuring from that point, around a 20% move will take us up towards around 51 and a half thousand, and a 30% move will take us up towards around 55 to 56 thousand. And so once again, simply based on the Bollinger Bands indicator on the three-day time frame right now, we could potentially see the price of Bitcoin trading in the $50,000 price range sometime within the next few weeks. But of course, this is just one indicator, just one signal. Obviously, we need to look at multiple indicators and signals to be more confident in where the price is heading rather than relying everything on just one single indicator. And so if we're taking a look at the daily Bitcoin chart, what we are now finally seeing in the daily Bitcoin RSI is officially a break 
trading counts here in the daily Bitcoin RSI, which is invalidating the bearish divergence. And so obviously, as I've been saying since all the way back up here at around 47K approximately, of course, we did have that previous bearish divergence, which played out very well for a few weeks here. But as I've been saying, especially more recently, once we finally see a breakout in the RSI above this descending line of resistance, that is an invalidation signal for the bearish divergence, telling us that we are picking up more bullish momentum. And as I've also been saying almost every day on the channel over the last two weeks or so, here in the daily Bitcoin MACD, this is already showing some bullish momentum as we've seen over the last two weeks. And especially more recently, this is starting to pick up a little bit more bullish momentum compared to over the last one to two weeks. And so simply based on the daily Bitcoin Bitcoin MACD, this already flipped bullish around one to two weeks ago, but here in the daily Bitcoin RSI, this is now officially flipping bullish, invalidating the bearish divergence. And so right now we have multiple bullish indicators and signals right now with a breakout in the RSI, bullish momentum in the MACD, obviously a strong bounce from support and also invalidating the bearish divergence at the same time as a volatile move to the upside now playing out here in the Bollinger Bands. And as for the potential bearish signals, there's pretty much one main bearish signal that I can really find on the charts which is indeed the DXY. Technically speaking, the DXY is still looking more bullish than bearish. And as we can see on this chart, typically when the DXY is bullish, that is usually bearish for the price of Bitcoin and crypto. But it's important to understand that this is not 100% accurate. It is very accurate, but not 100% accurate. For example, right back here in around the end of September, entering into early October, we started to see an initial bullish reversal here in the price of Bitcoin. So the price of Bitcoin was already starting to head back to the upside, while the DXY was also still heading to the upside in that time period right there. And so it wasn't until a few weeks later, after we already started a bullish reversal in the price, it was a few weeks later that we finally saw a bearish reversal in the DXY, which cemented the fact that we were really bullish in the price. And so for as long as we see some sort of bullish reversal sometime over the next few days or weeks in the DXY, once again, this could further confirm more bullish price action in the price of Bitcoin and crypto. But at least for now, technically, this is pretty much the only significant bearish signal on the charts. But overall, we need to look at how many bearish signals there are versus how many bullish signals there are and see if there's more bearish or more bullish things happening right now. And if we're taking a look at the eight hour Bitcoin chart right now, we have finally confirmed the breakout from this bullish inverse head and shoulders pattern that I've been talking about for a while now on the channel. And so, of course, this neckline, this line of resistance that we needed the breakout above was sitting at approximately 43.6K. And we have now seen two eight hour candle closes, soon to be three eight hour candle closes above this line of resistance, confirming the breakout. And so this technically means that we now have an active bullish price target in play, which is sitting at around 48.8k. And so if you enter the trade at the point of the breakout to that price target, that's a potential 12% move to the upside or from where we are right now to that price target, that's still around a 7 to 8% move to the upside. And so obviously, if you took this trade already, if you entered this trade, entered a long position anywhere near this breakout already, you're doing very well so far. And once again, at least for now, there's technically more room to the upside towards this bullish price target. And speaking about breakouts and bullish price targets, of course, we have finally seen a breakout from this symmetrical triangle pattern that I've talked about recently on the channel. And that line of resistance was sitting at around 43.3K approximately. And as I said in my last video, if we simply break out above that line of resistance with confirmation, like for example, seeing a four hour candle close above that line of resistance, then that would activate a bullish price target for this pattern right here, which was sitting at around 45,000. And so obviously, as soon as we actually confirmed the breakout above this line of resistance, we pretty quickly saw the price of Bitcoin head straight up towards this bullish price target. And we've now actually hit that price target and gone higher. And so obviously, if you took this trade right here, if you entered a long position anywhere near this breakout, Breakout, even if we confirm this breakout with that four hour candle close at around 43.6 to 43.7k. Obviously, if you entered a long position anywhere around there, right now you're doing very well with that long position. And as always, personally, I take those trades over on Bybit. So I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit in the description down below and in the pinned comment. And if you use that link down below this video to make a Bybit account and deposit on that account, you can get up to a $30,000 deposits bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video. But for whatever reason, if you cannot access Bybit or if you cannot KYC on Bybit, there is also Bitflex, which is another crypto exchange similar to Bybit, but you don't need KYC for Bitflex. And right now, there's a massive exclusive giveaway happening over at Bitflex. 
if you use the link down below this video to make a Bitflex account. Because if you click that link down below this video, that will take you to this page right here where you can see this App Watch Series 9 giveaway. And you can only enter this giveaway if you use the link down below this video to make a Bitflex account and to then simply deposit at least $100 worth of crypto and to make just one trade over on Bitflex. And that will enter you into this giveaway in the running to win a brand new Apple Watch Series 9. And so if you're trading crypto anyway, or if you're preparing to take the next trade, you might as well get set up ready to go on Bybit or Bitflex using those links down below this video if you want to get those extra bonuses at Bybit or enter this giveaway over at Bitflex. But anyway, getting back into the Bitcoin charts, once again, right now we've already hit this price target, but we're heading towards this higher price target at around 48.8K. And this bullish price target right here will only invalidate if we see a confirmed break back below this level right here, which once again is sitting at around 43 and a half thousand, give or take. And if we're zooming into the four hour Bitcoin chart, obviously over the last one day, we have finally broken out from this sideways price range, obviously flipping much more bullish again in the short term now that we've broken out above a around 43.7k with multiple candle closes above that level. And so now that we've broken out above that area of resistance, this price range should now act as new support in case we see any sort of pullback. I would expect support around that price range, which once again is sitting in between around 43.3k to 43.7k. And as for some other levels of resistance to watch out for, looking at the Fibonacci retracement tool from swing high to swing low here on the four hour time frame on the linear settings, at least as of right now, at the time of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is running into the golden pocket area of resistance, which is sitting in between around 45,000 to around 45.4K. But if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above 45.4K with candle closes above that level, then in that case, the next short-term resistance is sitting at around 46.8K, going up towards around 47K based on this Fibonacci level and also these previous highs looking at the candle closes. And now if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above 47,000, then in that case, obviously we have that bullish price target that we'll likely continue heading up towards sitting at around 48.8K, very close to this local high at around 40 9,000, which should also act as a bit of short-term resistance. And if we're taking a quick look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, obviously over the last one day, we have now smashed through that massive area of liquidity that I talked about recently on the channel. And so as I've mentioned over the last few days, that was actually the largest area of liquidity. And these areas of liquidity act as magnets for the price of Bitcoin, attracting Bitcoin towards those areas. And so once again, Bitcoin has now smashed through that area of liquidity, liquidating a lot of short positions, which is actually pushing the price even higher. And as for the next area of liquidity in the Bitcoin liquidation heat map to the upside, that's sitting at around 46.3K to around 46 and a half thousand. And of course, we also have some areas of liquidity to the downside, but a lot of those areas are now sitting below critical support in the price of Bitcoin. So before Bitcoin could even reach those lower levels, of course, it's likely that we could actually bounce at some of these areas of support, even if we do see an actual pullback. But once again, overall, when we're looking at multiple bullish or bearish signals, overall, we're simply looking more bullish than bearish based on multiple signals and indicators right now. And if we're taking a look at the ETH to US dollar chart on the daily time frame, right now the price of ETH is getting closer towards invalidating this bearish divergence. But at least for now, unlike Bitcoin, we have not fully invalidated the bearish divergence, at least not yet, because we have not broken out above this line right here. But if we're taking a look at the daily Ethereum MACD, as I've mentioned over the last few days, this has already flipped in the bullish direction with a confirmed bullish cross. And so like I've already been saying over the last couple of days, this means we are now beginning to see more bullish momentum show up here in the price of ETH. And so obviously, if this continues here in the MACD and the price, obviously, that will likely lead to the RSI also invalidating this bearish divergence, just like Bitcoin. And if we're zooming into the six hour ETH to US dollar chart, right now, the price of ETH is roughly halfway between the point of the breakout for this symmetrical triangle pattern and the bullish price target for said breakout. And so obviously, if you entered a trade all the way back down here, whether it was simply just buying ETH on the spot market or whether it was entering an Ethereum long position, obviously, either way, if you entered a long position down towards these areas, down towards the breakout, obviously, right now, you're doing very well so far. And personally, as I said in my last video, I have actually entered a long position for the price of ETH, which obviously right now is in profits. And so once again, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm simply using that long position to trade this move to the upside towards this bullish price target, making a lot of ETH 
easy profits as we head higher. And once again, if you want to take these trades in the price of ETH or any other crypto, check out those links down below this video if you want to get those extra bonuses or enter that giveaway. And in case you're wondering, this bullish price target for the bullish breakouts for the price of ETH is sitting at around 25.80. So from the point of the breakout to that price target, that was around a 12% move to the upside or from where we are right now to that price target, that's still around a 5% move higher. But that is why it is important to subscribe to this channel with notifications turned on so that you stay up to date every single day talking about these new trades that I share in these videos. And as for support and resistance, looking at the 8 hour ETH to US dollar chart right now, we're finally breaking out above this area of resistance, which was sitting in between around 23.90 going up towards around 24.30. And so technically speaking, that area should now act as new support for the price of ETH in case we see a bit of a pullback. And in a more bearish scenario, we should also find some more support down towards around 2340 to 2350 based on previous resistance. But obviously that's only if we break below this area of support. And as for resistance levels to watch out for, we do have some resistance right here at around 2490 to 2500. And above that, we also have more resistance at around 2580 to 2500. 90. And these levels of resistance are based on previous highs in the price of ETH. And on top of that, if we're taking a look at the Fibonacci retracement tool from swing high to swing low here on the eight hour time frame, those exact levels of resistance are sitting exactly at important Fibonacci levels. And so for those multiple reasons, we do have those important levels of resistance to pay attention to, which are where the price is most likely going to struggle at or potentially see rejections from. So keep that in mind. And just taking a quick look at the price of Solana on the eight hour time frame, obviously we have now confirmed a breakout above this descending line of resistance, which was actually a descending triangle pattern, which is typically a bearish pattern. But as I said in my last video, sometimes a bearish pattern can actually break out to the upside. And so as always, that is why it's important to just wait for confirmation, wait to confirm a break either above resistance or below support. And so right now, considering we broke out to the upside from this descending triangle pattern, that sets up a bullish price target, which is sitting at at around $109. But right now, as of recording this video, the price of Solana is running into the golden pocket area of resistance, which starts at around $105 and goes up towards around $106.60, once again, acting as strong resistance. But if we see a confirmed breakout above around $106 to $107 with candle closes above that area, that is extremely bullish for the price due to two reasons. First of all, anytime where we break out above the golden pocket, that alone is a bullish signal. But on top of just breaking out above a level of resistance, of course, we also have a potential inverse head and shoulders pattern here for the price of Solana. And this golden pocket area of resistance is essentially the neckline for that inverse head and shoulders pattern. And so if we see a confirmed to break out above around $107, then that would set up a bullish price target for the price of Solana based on an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And that bullish price target is sitting at around $135. And so from the point of the breakout to that price target, we're talking about a possible 27% move to the upside. But obviously between that breakout and that higher price target, there's also some other resistance levels. For example, resistance at around $114 and more resistance at around $125. And as for short-term support, in case we see another rejection from the golden pocket, I would now expect support at around $99 to $100. And below that, we have more support at around $95. And if you want to know how you can trade these moves in the price of any crypto, whether we're going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, you can profit from all of those scenarios by watching these videos popping up right here on your screen. Because the video in the top left shows you how you can open long positions and short positions to make money if the price is bullish or bearish. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.